Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, July 24th. Week 138. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Got Pete and repeat. Pete and repeat. <laughs> yep. Well, hey, guys, last week I was 336, and today I was 336.8, so I'm going to call that 337. Okay. You know, up a little. Stomach's been weird. We ate something weird this week. I don't, I'm not sure what it was. It was something that affected both of us because yes. our stomachs were a mess for like two days there. Yeah, feeling very bloated, very... <sighs> Gassy and bloated. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what. <laughs> we eat pretty simple, so... Uh, yeah. We we had some Kirkland hot dogs, but I don't think that was it. Then yeah. we had hamburger patties. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. And then taco meat, but... Taco meat, basic stuff Yeah. that I... we eat regularly. So I, I'm not really sure. It's not got, a good feeling. <laughs> no, it was not a good week. Not a good week in that respect. No. So where'd you end up at? Uh, last week I weighed in at 149 and pretty much the same. So I was like 130, 130, oh. 148 point something. So even. Six or something. Yeah. Okay. So you're pretty much right in that same boat. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, I was telling Bill the other day. Um, she was telling me the other day. For a while there, I felt like I was losing a ton of hair. Um, my hair felt thinner. I could definitely feel the difference. And uh, we started taking some different... Um, Gave you some collagen, collagen and something from... It was a pretty little pill, remember? The pretty yeah, little pill? The hair, nails, and skin. skin. or something, yeah. Um, and then recently, so we've changed over to the collagen. Uh, there was a combination of collagen and something. I forget what it was that you bought. Yeah, I remember getting it for you. I think it had calcium in it or calcium, something. Calcium, yeah. And, you know, and I don't know if it's because I'm now, like, in perimenopause and things are calming down a little bit that way. Um, but I was just telling Bill the other day, I've noticed that I haven't had, like, the clumps of hair. You haven't lost hair yeah, recently. You know, Maybe it was part of that whole perimenopause stuff. I don't know. So Hard I keep say. telling myself... It's going to even out. <laughs> Maybe we're into the next phase of that for you or something. I'm not sure Hot how that flashes works. are still bad. Last night was last night was a rough night. And then I'm sitting here right now with the blanket on because I'm absolutely freezing. Because <laughs> my house is like a walk-in freezer. Uh, and it has to be because if I turn it up, uh, then she just says, I'm freaking hot. So I don't know what to do for you. He was just saying... I said, what are you doing with that blanket? He goes, I'm moving. I said, well, I really want to cover up with it. He's like, really stays. So I'll I said, go turn the air off. And then she'll spaz in 15 minutes. Say, it's hot in here. It is. <laughs> She's just... not a happy camper. <laughs> so I don't know what to do for you. I I, huh. I think I've learned after 30 years, just, <laughs> just do it and keep my mouth shut and get a blanket. I, it's I bad when I see Bill with the blanket out here in the living room. <laughs> and that's been recently, yeah. I did, I just I can't I can't control it. I'm gonna buy her like a personal fan that she could just carry around <laughs> and sit down and blow on her. I don't know what to do for you, kid. Uh, me Sorry. either. Me either. All I can do is laugh at it because it's it is a little humorous. Yeah, I was gonna add some. Uh, speaking of food, food. Yeah, because we weren't talking about food, but I am now. Um, <laughs> I was going to add in some like little beef or steak cuts and stuff. Holy cow, Like it went up like double. Like, yeah. Like for the little pack of four or five, is it, mm-hmm. that you get at Costco? It was like 40 bucks, 45 bucks, and I didn't want to spend the money on it. And I think you said the last one was like 78 or something for the same pack. It, it's like 80 crazy bucks right or now. something. No, not going to do that. But we did get some. Beef Kirkland Franks. Yes. And uh, been taking it a little easier on the vegetables, thinking maybe there's some, you know, creepy carbs in there or something. Just cut back a little on those. Mornings, I've, I've not been hungry lately, and you'd think that it would reflect in my weight, but it hasn't. Uh, my coffee maker went out this morning. My Keurig broke. <clears throat> He's drinking it's, water this morning. Yeah. It, it totally, like, died. It won't even turn on. It died. There's, like, an internal fuse that blew or something. I'm checking the outlets. I'm, like, plugging other things in. Why does this work? Why does this work? Coffee pot is shot. And this one's not even that old. I don't yeah. even think it's a year old. Mm-mm. 
Now, granted, I use the heck out of the thing, but, but I don't abuse it. I put the water in, I do the filters, I you do the descaling. It. Yep, I've had, you know, I go through the descaling when it tells me to do it. So um, I'm a little perplexed and now it won't even turn on. So um, I feel horrible. I'm going to have to like see if I have all the stuff for it and go back to Costco and say the last one I had ended up something happened underneath it and then the entire thing just spilled coffee all over the countertops. So yes. every time you put water in it, put a cake cup in it, and then hit the button, it would all come out through the bottom all over the counter. So, and I felt bad with that one. It wasn't that old either. Yeah. Not even a year old. I, I just have bad luck. I mean, is, there another, is there another coffee maker like a Keurig that does the single pods? Or yeah, there are, other, really? there are other makers that, you know, you consider generics of that cake, except a cake cup. There's one called iCoffee and Chef Master or something makes one. And I had a single one way back when, when I used to work in an office. And I have a single one that I actually use in the van. It's a Keurig too, so maybe I'll pull that down and just use it to make a cup of coffee. But gosh. I'm so sorry. I've just got bad luck. i got to run. Now i got to try and find <clears throat> all the parts for it and take it back into Costco and say, I got a leaker. No, it's this one's not leaking. It just won't even turn out. I'll shut off completely. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Part of me wants to tear it apart and fix it, and then part of me is just like, no, just be done. Because the, there's there's that. I wouldn't say it like, I don't know what you call it. I'm not a hoarder or nothing, but when something breaks, I'll do everything I can to fix it and make it last longer. And, Which is good, but sometimes no, it I'm is like, good. just throw it but away. But sometimes you just got to learn to You've just say, let it go. It. Let it go. Throw that VCR away. It's okay. Yep. But I could fix it. I know you can. Yeah, I could. And I could appreciate it, but... Yeah. No, on the coffee maker, it's not even a year old. So it's going to go back and say, send it back to Keurig and make a better coffee pot. That's all. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just make a better coffee pot. That one that works. <laughs> I go through some coffee pots. I'm ready to go back to like the little four cup mister. Because I'm the only one who drinks coffee. So I'm ready to go back to the little baby four cupper. You know, the $20 thing from Walmart that you yeah. just put the grounds in it? We have one, It's cheaper. We? we had one, your mom. We gave it to your mom. Oh. Because I didn't really use it. I would only use it if company came over or something, and it's very rare. So just, you know, end up giving it to your mom. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm almost ready to just go back <laughs> to that. So I don't have to worry about that struggle. Yeah, you don't drink. And, I, and I'm not even drinking anywhere near as much coffee as I used to. So that's yeah. the thing. The thing should last longer. <laughs> And it died. It died. <laughs> it won't even turn on. Oh, so so disappointed this morning. I was because I got up and I I got up before Stace. I made bacon and scrambled eggs and I'm we got a little bit of the one carb. What is it? Aunt Millie's Aunt white Millie's, yeah. one carb bread. So I was gonna like toast, bacon, uh, eggs, and then all I wanted was take my medicine, have a cup of coffee. That didn't work. <laughs> He's looking over to see if the coffee's no, there. No, I was I was actually looking over to see if my cup was there because I have my mom's coffee cup. Yes. That I love using. So mm -hmm. I have my mom's coffee cup and uh, I had an earlier this morning I had a cup of coffee with that and it worked fine. Yeah. So I make this wonderful breakfast. Stacy's getting up and smelling bacon and it's all nice. I'm putting it all together and I go to hit the button real quick to make a cup of coffee to have with breakfast. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah, the lights are all off, and I'm checking the outlet, and I'm checking the toaster, and I'm plugging other things. Uh, everything works, except for the coffee pot. It just is dead. I guess it's not that big a deal, but I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> and and we I'm had, off today, so I'm oh, not going to work. We had we had a, a body art event uh, scheduled today. We were supposed to go work for a party, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, they canceled. So uh, now we have the day off and we have a lot of running to do, like going to Costco and taking the cure back. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> we have to go to the bank. Okay, maybe. A couple yeah, other we little things. Do. So, but uh, hey, thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> this is our way in today and my rant about cured coffee makers that are breaking <laughs> on me left and right. I don't know if I just have like bad luck or a voodoo doll. Somebody's got like a little... Dollhouse coffee maker. I'm and sure that's not the poking case. Poking it with sticks so that I'm my sure coffee maker breaks. I feel like that sometimes, you know. Today was uh, 
This week was a week of running out of everything. I ran out of apple cider vinegar again. I ran out of um, magnesium. I ran out cinnamon. of cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon, cinnamon or whatever. And then uh, I also got some, <laughs> ironically, because we were having trouble with, with gas and bloating, oh. I got some of the, it's almost like gas experts to Generica, but I forget the name of it, Smith a Cone or something, I don't know. But I ordered some of that on Amazon. That'll be here today. Because I could use one of those today. I'm feeling a little bloated. I'll tell everybody your business. Well, no. you already, <laughs> I already told them earlier, so. But yeah, uh, when that comes, <laughs> I would like to take one, and I think you should take one too. Yeah. See if it helps your tummy. Yeah, it was, a, it was, although I was working yesterday, and so fast paced, it was, you know. Keeping busy. Friday, keeping busy. So made it not as bad, but boy. I don't know. It was it was rough going into into the day. It just I whatever it is that and we and it was just the two of us. Julia's absolutely fine. <sighs> I don't know what, and we drink totally different things other than just water. Yeah, I drink coffee. And we drink like the little crystal lights or something. Yeah, or water. usually I'm just water or Propel. I like Propel. Propel. I like Propel too. It's just expensive. I don't want to. I don't want to drink it. I'll leave it for you. Yeah, the propels for me, coffee's for him. Water mostly, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I used to drink probably three to five cups of coffee a day, and now I'm down wow. to like one. And that's some days I don't even... That's a lot of coffee. Yeah, it is. I guess that's coming from somebody who doesn't like the smell or the taste of it, so... Give me a kiss. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have I coffee. Didn't, <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't even get my cup of coffee. I had the morning one at like 8 a.m. I had one. 11 11. Oh, 11 11. We always think of uh, his my mom, mom at 11 11. That was her favorite number. Is her anniversary was 11 11. And 11 is my favorite number. 11 is his favorite number. So 11 11, as often as we can. Sometimes just a simple text that says 11 11 and just makes, makes the other one smile. smile. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get going with our day and try and get some things accomplished considering we don't have body art today. Yeah. Um, Stace helped me with a haircut recently. No comments unless you say it looks okay. No, it looks yeah. fine. I didn't, you know, this morning I got up, I took a shower, and I didn't even, like, you know, brush it or do anything. I just, like, dried it with a towel like that, and that's my kind of haircut. Simple. And the back feels good. The back does feel good. It's like peach fuzz. I, <laughs> I like that. I like the back when he gets his, his haircut yeah. fresh. And it just feels, just it feels good to me, too. I like that. Feels good. You just like it because I like to rub the back of your head when yeah. you get a haircut. <laughs> That's part of it. I'm not going to lie. Feels good. Uh, All right, guys. Hope everybody's doing well with their keto journeys and um, on your paths. And I see the doctor this week for A1C diabetic recheck. Uh, I don't know where my A1C is. Last time I took my sugar, it was like 138, uh, which isn't so horrible. It's not... A, it's not a great number. It should be under 100. It's not a horrible number like a 400 like it used to be. Yeah. So thank you, Keto. I'll Absolutely. Oh, I had a really cute thing happen yesterday. What was I didn't even think I got to happen? talk to you. So I, um, I'm a front-end supervisor. Times, but... I know. I'm sorry. Okay. But it was really cute. So I'm a front-end supervisor. And um, when, somebody, when one of the cashiers needs us, they just say, I need a soup. And uh, I was walking up. I said, okay. So I was helping this gentleman. And the guy says, it was a younger guy. He goes, did she just refer to you as a soup? And I said, yeah. I said, short for supervisor. I said, when you say it all day long, it's just, I need a Fast. soup is better. He goes, well, let me tell you. He says, I read comic books. And when we say soup, we think of superheroes. And I said, oh, I like your thinking. He goes, so just think of yourself as a superhero whenever they call you. And say I need a soup. Okay. <laughs> it was just like you made my day. It was sure. just very cute. I don't know. I get a kick out of stupid stuff. Yeah, like rolling down the bagels on the. Uh, like, look, there's the a counter. sub sale. There's a sub sale. <laughs> there's a sub sale. What What's the sub sale, Bill? I don't know. There was a big sign that said sub sale, and I'm like, why are they selling submarine Here sandwiches? Go past the subdivision. It says. <laughs> Sub sale today. <laughs> and I'm like, why are they selling submarine sandwiches? Could you tell I was hungry? <laughs> and I was like, who 
Ooh, he goes, it says there's a sub sale. I said, it's a subdivision yard sale. I said, but they, they're selling submarine sandwiches. Where are they selling them at? I should have pulled in and asked where are the subs. Where's the submarines at? The submarine sandwiches. I'm hungry. <laughs> like 10 years ago, <laughs> every time we pass an area yeah. that's at a sub That was sale. up by Meadow Lake. That's how long ago that was. So I asked him, I said, you want to go get a sub? He's like, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. So every time we see a sub sale, I have to make fun of myself. <laughs> Say, oh, I'm kind of hungry. There's a sub sale. You want to go see where the subs are? Oh, gosh. We haven't said that in a few weeks. Yeah, sub sale. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. We'll have talk a to good you soon. One. Bye. Bye. <laughs>